<laughs> Let me wipe this grief up of my forehead. with a little music in the background. <laughs> I have a sketch that, you know, I got to put together like the whole full Dell episode, but I don't want, I want to just like get back to like, you know, doing the Dell show all the time. And guess what? I'm not going to wear time perfection because if you wear time perfection, guess what? I'm going to never upload it. So let me right up, give you something right now and then give you it when we finish editing because <laughs> i am the i shut the funny sketch and i can't wait for y'all to see i don't even want to say funny because i hate when people like i hate when people like pump it up and be like it is so funny and then you check it out and you be like oh that was it like like you remember the movie like something about mary like long time ago of, of course <laughs> if you're in your 20s <laughs> it was the year you were born you remember that movie huh the year you were born <laughs> anyway, um, but you know, if you're in your 40s, like why? when I was in my 20s, it was like this movie and people was like, you got to see it. And it just like, everybody just telling me I got to see it. And I guess, you know, I just, by the time I was looking at it, I was judging it so hard because everybody had just had my hopes up. And I'm already not a movie watcher as a teen, so I was like, you know what, you know what. <laughs> I just had to talk to you. When the last time you talked to the Holy Spirit, huh? When the last time you talked to the Holy Spirit and requested something because he is at work. Where is that? Hold on. Hold on, I gotta investigate. I gotta investigate, y'all. I gotta investigate. I'm gonna have to take y'all with me. <laughs> I gotta see what this is because Mama cannot even concentrate. If I think this is a like some kind of insect, <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. If I think that is some kind of insect, it's some kind of insect, and um. And I don't know if y'all know this about me. Now y'all know I'm a very sweet person, but I am a bug assassinator. Do you hear me? If I see any bugs in the house, oh, I look at all bugs and I be like, I hope you know the Lord because you're about to go meet them because you can't stay up in here. Now, if it's like a, a like a, you know, one of the like um, beetles, you know, the green beetles, so, you know, I'll pick them up and, and rub them and then I'll put them right back outside. Like, boo, you know, you're not supposed to be up in here. If it's like a spider, if it's not too like disgusting and large or whatever, you know, and I just see, you know, I'll sleep back outside. But oh, when I'm about to go to sleep and my mouth gonna be wide open, mm, sorry, sorry. Let me read you this Psalm and then let's get you in the grave because you can't stay here. <laughs> You can't stay here. Back to the Holy Spirit. When the last time you talked to him, huh? Because he be answering. He be answering. Y'all just don't know. I'm talking about speedily. You know how, like, when you grow up in church, people be, you know, it's like you pray for something in one day. And one day, but with it, with, this is what I've learned on my spiritual journey. Right now, the Lord wants you to have it right now. And that's what the Lord specializes in, is things right now. He does not want you to have them way, way, way off in the distance. So, you know, down the yellow brick, brick road. He wants, his specialty is getting you something right now. <sighs> That's what made me come to y'all because I just asked him for something and then it came like right now. I mean, it, you know, I'm, I was searching for something on the web and it was like a very hard search. And I was just like, Holy Spirit, can you just please show me where it, And I'm talking about one minute later, I had it and I had been looking for it for 
you know, more than a minute. Anyway, another reason why I wanted to come to y'all is because you know I was walking around today and um, you know this guy was like, excuse me, um, do you have a dollar, you know? And I was like, oh no, I'm sorry, I just spent it because I did, I just spent it on, you know, the watermelon, you know, I love my watermelon, my lime, so juice, you know, lime squeeze on it. And I was like, no, I just spent it. He was like, oh, okay. Um, well, if you don't got a dollar, do you got a five? Cause I got a five. So I'm like looking back, like what, it, like five, like what? And he was like, yeah. He was like, um, because I'm trying, I got five dollars, and I'm trying to get a margarita, and I got eleven dollars to go. So. Now, of course, I kept walking because now, nigga, I'm sorry. What? Did you say you need a margarita? First of all, what type of specific drunk are you that you need a specific type of thing to get twisted? Nigga, if you got $5, you could go get you some kind of Mad Dog 2020 for 99 cents and be good for the night. You need a margarita. <laughs> you... You one of these type of drugs right here, you gotta do it. You know what I'm saying? You, uh-uh, you gotta, you, you gotta have, you, uh, uh, you, you just can't feel it if you gotta, if you, if you don't do one of these. What type of, nigga, a margarita? Like, no, no, I'm sorry. You know, I really appreciate his honesty and that is what I think when I do for the, 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 the Dell show all together. That's gonna be the next theme is the honesty because I really appreciate it. Therefore, I had zero guilt in telling you, hell no. You know what I'm saying? What? <laughs> you, <laughs> but you for five dollars, you can get some weed. You know what I'm saying? You can just you can just get some weed. You can go get an animal from a weed shop. I'm talking about you it's ways to get so up out here, but I you know, but you need something specific, it's just Brother, brother, <laughs> it's priorities not just off, but like, you know, like strategy is off too because you are taking a way long route to get so up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, you, you, you don't even want to get so up if you just need a margarita. Now, of course, he was probably headed to the restaurant down the street, which is like two for one margarita. So for $15, you can get two of them. But I'm, I'm still, $15? Like, you you can have a whole six-pack of, of, of something or another. <sighs> Guys, how y'all like my, how y'all like my lead press on it? My, this, my friend who is a makeup artist, we was doing this shoot, the hair shoot. And I was like, you know, I was like, I wish I could give my nails out. And he was like, girl, I just lead press on. And I just lead press on. And don't they look like I got them done? Don't, don't look too close. Stop, stop hating, stop hating. Yes, they do look fresh. <laughs> no, but what I really love about them, and that's the whole point of this video, is I have, like, normally as a person that comes from a tech background, you know, I come from a tech background. Like, I fix everything with my hands. I'm always typing, I'm always building something, I'm always creating something. I am a woman that works with her hands, so I love, you know, I, I don't like a lot of, like, nails. Man, remember I told you I was studying this class so I can, you know, get this hundred thousand dollar job and then I just decided to when I was looking for the job you know people you know looking at the commitment that it's going to take to be at the place and I was just like no I'm just gonna go ahead and go for it and work for myself and then boom that's what brings you back to the press on nails when I decided to put these on I was like oh this is for the show this is what you know and I just decided this is what I want to be doing more. Like, this is the only thing I want to be doing. Like, you know, I'm glad I got the skill though, because that skill I can learn to market myself electronically. So that was great too. You know, the Lord brings everything for a reason. But keep, I just decided I'm keeping it on. Like this is, this, this, the things I want to do, this is the only thing I want to do them in right here. It's like to have my nails done, to like, you know, be like, you know, the girly woman that I am. You know, I'm not really like, a, oh, I need my nails done, but like, 
I just decided to keep them on because they symbolize me just going forward with the Dell Show, going forward, doing my thing. I mean, I'm always doing my thing, but like decided, because if I'm doing computers or any other job, I can't have these on because I need to constantly like work with my hands and fix stuff and then, and I'm not gonna be able to keep them on. But so deciding to keep them on means deciding to just never do anything else that requires me to take them off. And you know, it feels good to be at that decision. <laughs> make sure y'all comment, make sure y'all like, make sure y'all put it in the comments. What's your revelation this week? What have you patted yourself on the back for this, some decision that you made? Let's share it. Let's get the feel good sharing going on. I'd love to hear it. Thank you so much that as soon as I came back, y'all came right back with me. I love y'all so much. The dance show. My baby got something she want to tell y'all. Y'all heard her say subscribe.